You know what, man? I think I just gotta get it out of my system. I am pissed the hell off. Because my fantasy, I'm throwing this week. This is the championship final series that I'm playing in the Yahoo League, in the Hockey YouTubers League, and I am absolutely throwing. With Matt Dumba getting scratched today for trade-related reasons, and with Gabe Velarde already being injured for a while, I made some panic ads to try to fix everything. Those panic ads were the wrong players, I chose guys that were already playing, and I totally screwed up myself for this week. I am getting destroyed. And my entire fantasy run, which I care very much about because I've been talking to y'all about it the entire season, it's over. But I think I needed at least a minute to acknowledge that so I could, you know, just breathe through it, get it in my system, get it out of my system, and move on. There will be other fantasy weeks, so, yeah. Oh man, I'm so disappointed in myself. But either way, we have ourselves another trade to talk about. This time, we have ourselves a really interesting name, Emilio Pedersen, getting sent over to the Dallas Stars. It's a minor league trade between the Stars and the Flames. Riley Damiani is the guy going over to Calgary. The trade seems to be 1-4-1. One and even though this was an hour ago, I did want to talk about this because when it comes to these two guys, Damiani is a really interesting player, somebody that I've had my eye on for a little bit over the past few years. 23 years old, 5'10", 170, right-handed center, and he was a fifth-round pick in the 2018 draft by the Dallas Stars out of the OHL. Damiani stands out to me because immediately after his draft-eligible year in 2017-18, he exploded offensively in the Kitchener Rangers system. 85 points in 58 games played, and then 78 points in 61 games played as the captain of Kitchener, he was looking like an absolute stud. And he carried over that potential into the AHL, where in 2020-2021, he had 36 points in 36 games played, a legit point-per-game guy at 20 years old at the pro-American Hockey League level. Now, unfortunately for Damiani, his point production never really proceeded beyond that. He dropped down to 36 points in 55 games the next year, and then 31 points in 59 games the year after that. This season, he's on pace for 30 points in 71 games. So Damiani, unfortunately, was not able to capitalize on that top-tier scoring that he was displaying at the AHL and OHL levels. He seems to have gotten worse year in and year out, which is totally unfortunate, but it's one of these situations where you think about a change of scenery, you think about how guys can be opening themselves up to new opportunities. The Texas Stars have a lot of good young pieces. You've got the Logan Stankovins and the Maverick Borks and the Blumos going out there doing their thing. So a guy like Damiani, who was seen as one of these top guys on the team a few years ago, getting sent away... I mean, look, this could be a new opportunity to mesh well in a brand new system after being dethroned in Dallas and not really being given the best opportunities anymore since those days in 2019-20. I mean, look at his season here in 2020-2021, the point per game year that Damiani had. He was one of the top guys, the top guy actually in point production. And now, if you take a look at the rest of the Texas Stars in 23-24, Maverick Bork, Logan Stankov, and these guys are so darn good. I'm not surprised that these guys, of all people, are the ones that are producing the most on the team, but it puts Damiani in a pretty tough spot because he has to take a back seat. Now, when it comes to Damiani getting traded, let's talk about the return over here. It is Emilio Pedersen, and this is a really interesting name, too. I've always had my eye on Matias Emilio Pedersen, not because he was, like, you know, super amazing or anything. I mean, he could be, but his name... His name sounds so similar to Elias Pettersson that I kind of had to go out there and see what he was all about. But he's also 23 years old, also a 2018 draftee. This is a six-round pick from that year's draft. Damiani was a fifth-round pick. So, again, another swapping of guys in the same age range, just like we had seen earlier today in the Jan Mishak Perot trade between Montreal and Anaheim. But Matthias Emilio Pedersen is 23 years old, center left wing, 5'10", 170, signed till the end of this season on a $775,000 deal. And this season, he's got 30 points in 54 AHL games. Now, like Damiani, 
Emilio Pedersen actually did have some pretty good production. He was a point-per-game guy for the Denver Pioneers in the NCAA in 2019-20 before making his AHL debut. Since then, though, he did have himself a better season, I would say, last year. 44 points in 61 games played with the Wranglers. This year, there was a slight decline. So if you wanted to say that both Emilio Pedersen and Damiani are in positions where they could use changes of scenery... That would make a lot of sense to me. I understand totally the idea that both of these guys are probably in a spot to freshen things up in their careers, get things going in a different way, maybe see what a new organization has to offer. When it comes to the Calgary Wranglers this year, though, Emilio Pedersen was also one of the top guys in point production alongside of Adam Klapka, Ben Jones, and Matthew Coronado. Klapka, by the way, this is a very, very interesting name. Quick aside, because I wanted to talk about this six foot eight behemoth of a human being, but either way, when it comes to the Matias Emilio Pedersen story, he always was interesting to me, not just because of the name, but because he also is from Norway. You rarely see NHL players make themselves known and commodities in the National Hockey League from there. But, at the end of the day, this is a very interesting swap between two teams that have already made deals in the past and two teams that have already gotten some extra transactions laid down between them. It is kind of interesting to me how the Dallas Stars are still open and willing to trade with the Calgary Flames, even though the Flames just acquired Joel Hanley off of waivers just a few days ago from this same Dallas Stars team. It's almost like these two teams have some sort of an alliance, and they're just willing to help each other out, you know? Hey, Chris Tanev for RTM Grushnik Okay, there you go. Hey, we have some younger prospects in the AHL that need changes of scenery. Okay, let's swap them. Let's give them a new home. Let's give Riley Damiani a new teammate in the Wrangler system that he's familiar with in RTM Grushnikov. So there's a lot going on here between these two teams. It's going to be very intriguing to see where both of these guys' careers go. I'd say for Riley Damiani, if you wanted to talk about his potential heading into the long term, I'd say around this area, the late 2010s, is when we really thought, oh yeah, this guy could become a middle six, maybe power play two, playmaking player. But as his AHL career went on, you know, he's starting to wane off a little bit. I would say maybe project him more so as a bottom six, third line scoring type of guy, rather than the middle six, second power play guy that we thought he could have been a few years ago. But I mean, he is 23 years old, so he has all the time in the world to go out there and prove me wrong. Same thing could be said about Matias Emilio Pedersen. I don't really think that he has as high of an offensive ceiling, but he was good with the Denver Pioneers in the NCAA at 19 years old. So there is that. There is still a good amount of work that Emilio Pedersen has done. But at the end of the day, this is a minor trade between two teams that have prospects that need to change as a scenery. I don't necessarily think we should be expecting too much out of these guys at the NHL level anytime soon. But at the end of the day, this is a trade, right? So I'm going to go back to sulking about my lost fantasy season, how everything that I had planned was going down to ashes because people are getting injured and people are getting sat out for trade related reasons and try not to fully let myself go insane because, hey, we got some extra fantasy things that can start out later, right? Just gotta wait till next year. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you're a Calgary Flames or a Dallas Stars fan about the Riley Damiani and Matias Emilio Pedersen swap between these two AHL clubs, AHL players, and seemingly trade partners. So thoughts in the comment section below. Stars fans, Flames fans, what do you think about this trade? I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.